In this video, we're going to be using the HCNC Unscented Base along with the HCNC Lemongrass Bamboo Scenting Oil and the Mighty Mighty Vector OC. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from my sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in, folks. Welcome in. Today, as mentioned before, we're going to be using the HCNC Unscented Base, and this comes to you for $19 for five ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is $3.80 an ounce, which is a good price. This is in the Top Shelf Base, which is a very, very good base. It's not vegan or tallow. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. It is very, very easy to use. I get a great lather every time, and this is a very nice base indeed. The scent today, we're using the HCNC Lemongrass Bamboo, which is very nice. I'll put the scent description for you on the screen right there. You have some lemongrass, peppermint, orange, geranium. It is very, very nice, and I like it a lot. Uh, also bamboo. I forgot the, <laughs> the bamboo. It wouldn't be lemongrass bamboo without the bamboo, after all. Anyway, this is smelling great. It's got the room smelling wonderful, and man, it's going to be a good shave. I have a, a good feeling about this one because we're also using the Mighty Vector. Now this one is OC, and by the way, the Vector is back in stock uh, as of the date of this recording. The Vector runs about $220. This one is stainless steel. It is made in the US and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. I absolutely love the Vector. It is my favorite single edge um, shaving razor of all time. The best one ever made in my opinion. Absolutely love this razor and I'm looking forward to using it today. And don't forget folks, if you make an order from HCNC here, uh, don't forget to use promo code IMCDB and he will send you a free gift and thank you if you do. All right, let's get into it. Enough yapping. Let's get into the shade. We've been looking forward to this one because I love this lemongrass bamboo scent and you know I love the vector. I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, and so this has the recipe for a great shave, I do believe. And we have it mixed up here in our bowl and we'll get going and don't forget folks I always try to link the products that are available below I know I know a lot of people have been waiting for the vector to be available well now it is so get after it if you want it very nice oh man one of the things about the game changer base it's not hard at all to work with the texture or excuse me the consistency of it is it's soft but it's not goopy soft you know me I'm not this, a super big fan of goopy soft soaps I like them to be just slightly firm and this one hits right in that perfect range for me. Very easy to lather. So no problems at all. All right. That is nice. And it's smelling good too. Again, I used about four drops today. And these scenting oils you can find at h &C. I'll link them below. And they fix a lot of problems. Let's say you have an unperforming soap. Find a scent oil, a scenting oil that complements it. Pop a couple in and you are good to go. And I really like that Pete has done things to put the control in the hands of the shaver. He's just not an artisan that says, I know what's best for you. I'll give you the scent strength you need. He's saying, why don't you do it yourself? I trust you. You're an adult. And so I like that. I rather like that. I don't really want to be babied or told, you know, <laughs> how to do my shave. And Pete is not about that. So I'm, I'm always uh, happy to use these products. And I have a lot of scenting oils to go through. So <laughs> you're going to see a lot of HCNC as I go through them and I haven't encountered a bad one yet. I'm like 100% so far, so that's pretty amazing. Rarely does that happen. It's happened a few times, but not a lot. All right, here we go. The blade in this, by the way, is the Feather Professional. Ah, yes, and that is smooth as silk. The Vector always reminds me of a squeegee. You know, um, I'm not sure if a squeegee is a universal term like in, in other languages, but here in the United States, a squeegee is something that you clean a window with. And that's what the vector reminds me of because it's, it's just like a T. It's very small, very, very ma maneuverable, and it always provides a wonderful shape. And I really love the way it feels in the hand. It just feels so nimble. I realized that I have a thing for razors that are just feel nimble in the hand. I don't mind some weighty razors, 
but I don't like them to feel clunky. I'm kind of put off by clunky razors. Um, this one definitely is not clunky by any stretch of the imagination. Very nice. It is a terrific shaver. And I've used many, many single edge razor, razors over the last 10 years. And this one is the best I've ever used by far. Now keep in mind, preference, you know, it's, it's my preference, may not be yours. So you may not think it's the best ever made like me, but I certainly do. It's phenomenal. And whether you're using the OC or the regular safety bar, it's good either way. I have the safety bar one as well, or the, the plate, I should say, and both work really nice. But I like using OCs a lot, so this one I figured I'd just roll with the OC. And it is as smooth as silk. And the base here, Game Changer Base by HCNC, absolutely terrific. No quality problems at all. Again, it's vegan. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is not vegan nor tallow. Um, so it's it's right there in the <laughs> in the middle. It doesn't contain tallow, but it does contain some ingredients that does not allow it allow for it to be vegan, like um, goat's milk, lanolin, tussa silk. And that's the that's the reason why I have to say it's not vegan nor tallow, but it is very good. And we always get a great lather with it every single time. That said, we get a great lather with most soaps, you know. But this one is pretty easy to use, and I really like that. I don't want to be fooling around trying to lather soaps all day, you know. I don't mind taking a little time to do it. It is fun, but I don't want to be struggling with it. And I don't like it when it's moving around in the bowl on me. And typically soft soaps will do that sometimes, and it kind of annoys me a little bit. But I don't have to chase this one down in the bowl. It kind of stays where it needs to be. And I rather like that. All right. Very nice. And by the way, if you haven't checked out our Shave Talk uh, interview with Pete, I will try to pop it up in one of the corners there. Check that out. You might enjoy that. Pete's a very interesting and giving guy. Just texted me the other day, checking in on my mother. So thank you so much, Pete, for that. I really appreciate it. All right. Let's go. Also, another thing uh, about Pete, I've seen him complimenting other artisans many, many times, uh, which which I really appreciate. I, I like it when people get along. I mean, don't we all? It's a nice thing. They're competition, but I remember when I was talking to him about bowls, he was always very complimentary. The Captain Choice Bowl, for example. He never craps on other people's products, which I really like. Uh, we do see, I have seen artisans who do that, and that always turns me off. And quite frankly, I've stopped using some because I saw them publicly, you know, crapping on other products. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not about that. I, I, you know, it's one thing if you're making an, an objective statement and you say, you know, that razor is not for me because of this, this. But when you say that product is trash, um, I'm not really... That doesn't do much for me. In our space, it's kind of a space of mutual respect, meaning the traditional shaving space. And when I see artisans crapping on other products, I'm just not, um, that just doesn't do it for me. It's, it's disrespectful and uh, it's a small community and we just don't have room for that in my opinion. So if you're doing that kind of stuff, and I would advise don't do it, <laughs> if you're in the business at least. And, and I would say for those of us who who talk about products too, you know, there's a way to do it respectfully and we try to. Now, sometimes if you don't like a scent, you just have to find terms to describe that scent you don't like, but it's never meant to be personal. And I don't call products trash unless they're just literally <laughs> trash, meaning unusable. If something is unusable and dangerous, I might call it trash. But I think if you're in the business, you know, there's sort of, sort of a standard that you don't run down other products and so some products you won't see here because of that and other things but you know for the most part i try to use uh things that i enjoy mostly and now especially you know we take cost into consideration too and one good thing about pete here is he's always making sure you're getting good value which i really appreciate he is truly committed to that and that means a lot to me. You know, just because you can afford, you might be able to afford 
things doesn't mean you want to pay more for them than you have to. That's lunacy, you know, to think that you shouldn't want soaps that are well-priced, right? Um, sometimes people will look at folks who ha own a lot of soaps and go, you got plenty of soaps, why are you complaining about cost? It, for that reason. <laughs> Because I'm probably spending a lot of money. I want to get good value. That should be a no-brainer. No one should want to pay more. You know, that's that's crazy. In my opinion. All right. But I tell you what, this gear today, so this vector here, it'll last you a lifetime. It's 220, which by today's standards is, you know, it's uh it's not an extreme price for a premium razor in the world of five hundred dollar razors now, which to me is that's very extravagant, but 220, it's more than the old standard of 185, but certainly far less than three, four, five hundred dollars So I think this razor is definitely worth the price in terms of the enjoyment that it brings me. And you do have to factor that in. It is just a magnificent shaver. I absolutely love it. I forgot what way I was going on that path <laughs> entirely. Sometimes I get lost in the conversation and the shave and I forget entirely what I'm doing, but that is okay. We'll go ahead and hit it again and make sure we do what needs to be done. It's just been a very pleasant shave and conversation today, I have to say. Very nice indeed. And the scent on this, I really like it. If you like lemongrass, and I love lemongrass, this one, don't think the bamboo's gonna make it super green because it not, because it's not. You do get a little bit of green, but it, it doesn't overpower it to make it you know, sharply green. And of course, it's got the other elements. This is a beautiful scent, I think. Oh man, so pleasant, so nice. I love lemongrass, I love ginger. Those are two notes that I think are underappreciated in my opinion, you don't see them a ton. You see bergamot in about everything, and I love bergamot, don't get me wrong. But you don't see lemongrass and ginger as much. I've seen it more lightly, ginger, which is great, because I love it. Oh man. Which reminds me, um, when my mother was in the hospital, and of course, I've said this a million times, but people, new people come every day, so that's why I'm repeating this. Um, she, of course, was in the hospital for a stem cell bone marrow transplant. And I think I went across the grain in the last pass, so we'll go against on this one. Anyway, she was nauseated, and one of the things they brought her was a cotton swab that they had dripped some uh, ginger essential oil on because ginger essential oil tends to, if you smell it, kind of helps with nausea, which is pretty cool. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I dig that and it made the room smell really good too. <laughs> Less sterile, you know, like a hospital room. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm digging this. So I was enjoying that. Oh man, we've had a great shave today with the Mighty Vector. It is fantastic. And again, as of the date of this recording, these were in stock again, folks. So if you want them, now is the time. Because people have been complaining for months. So now they're there. Get after it if you want one. And that was absolutely superb. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse. And then we taught off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with the HCNC Unscented Base along with the lemongrass bamboo scenting oil, and it is terrific. I absolutely love it. And don't forget, if you order something from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB and get a free gift with your order. We also use the Mighty Vector, which in my opinion is the best single edge razor ever created. I absolutely love it. It, was, it is tremendous. And remember, it's available now if you've been waiting for it, or at least as of the date of this recording. I forgot to mention the brush today, which is the AP uh, Shave Co. Handcrafted Series with the Cashmere Knot. And the mug is the Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we're going to finish it out today, once again, with the Quiet Man After Shave, complete with the floaties. I think the floaties might be unique to wet the face because I don't see it in any other aftershave, not that it matters. And I tell you what, we had a great shave and I hope wherever you are today, 
you have an excellent shave as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, get your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.